Gary Vaynerchuk, what makes him such a good public speaker? Well, welcome to Monday Breakdown here in Boston Speaks on this channel. I'm here to help you improve your communication and public speaking skills. And today we're talking about Gary Vaynerchuk. More importantly, I'm going to list three top things that makes him such a good public speaker and things that you can incorporate in your speaking as well. The good thing about Gary is that he documents everywhere from him walking down the street on uh, interviews to him giving a keynote address and the thing you can see is that whether he's talking to people one-on-one -on -one or talking to a thousand people the very first thing is he is like himself in all these situations. What up YouTube? Uh, just got a, a, at a stage, at a stage, off the fucking stage uh, here in my green room. On his uh, interviews He's not afraid to cut people off. You can see he's just being himself. And the organization has its own unique ones. Yes. And if they are compatible. You can go together in a peanut butter and jelly yeah, kind of If they're compatible, okay. then you will look to the people. When he's walking on stage, when he's on stage talking to people, he is exactly the same way. And you can see this too with almost any good speaker that's out there. They are who they are, whether they are in front of one person or to a thousand people. The second thing about Gary Vaynerchuk is he is very conversational. You can see this throughout his conversations with people who he interviews and also how he speaks on stage. So you have to notice, notice how he walks on stage. Gary, let's get on stage, baby! So you see how Gary Vaynerchuk, he's walking on stage and he's interacting with the crowd already. Welcome to Vid Summit, here too. Hello. Had to have you back. Thank you, brother. Yeah, yeah. Hello. Hello. Hello, Vid Summit. What up? What up? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Sit. Let's get every minute in here. I love you back! I see you, I can hear. Let's go. Now, again, that gives him more of a conversational tone. Uh, like any other good speakers that's, that's out there, he's not afraid to, okay, break the ice with the crowd before he starts his talk. And since Gary Vaynerchuk is having his conversational tone, it makes him such a good public speaker because it brings it into the present moment. You can only have a conversation when you are in the present moment with your audience. The third thing that makes Gary Vaynerchuk such a good speaker is his confidence, but more importantly, hear it from himself. I think my biggest secret is talk about what you know you're good at, right? Like, talk about stuff you know. You know, I try not to answer questions about foreign policy or currency or, you know, notice I stay away from Bitcoin or, you know, I don't talk about the things I don't know, right? I, I can spew my opinion and at the end of the day, this show and everything else is my opinion, but boy, is that grounded in really strong research and skill and practitioner DNA. He really talks about things that he knows about and since he's talking about things that he knows about or cares about or he's passionate about his confidence shines through and his opinions even matters that much more because he can back it up because that's what he thinks a lot of the time speakers when they talk sometimes they're not the most confident in their opinions but Gary Vaynerchuk he believes in what he's talking about he knows his opinions are strong which makes his message even more powerful because of that confidence now if you want to improve yourself as a public speaker do the same thing that Gary Vaynerchuk is doing. You have to ask yourself, are you the same whether you are having a conversation with someone in a group meeting or speaking in public? You see, Gary Vaynerchuk, he is exactly the same way. Now, most people, when they speak in public, they feel like they have to be you know, someone different in a way. Um, like, as, of course, you have to flip on and then be, on your, be in your zone, but people feel like, okay, I'm gonna go into a one-on-one -on -one conversation. Now I have, to, I have to be very formal when I have to present. You see, your vibe attracts your tribe. So when you lose that vibe that you naturally have and you go, and you go into this presentation formal mode, let's say, you, you, you lose the whole vibe. Of course, I'm, I'm also saying you do have to have this um, 
public speaking personality, but most of the great speakers like Gary is just like who he is if, no matter if you're talking to him one-on-one -on -one or in a group setting. The second thing is have a conversational tone with your audience. When you have a conversational tone with your audience, your audience can feel like they can relate with you or just be there with you, you know, just having fun, hanging out, having a good conversation, whether formal or informal. And the third thing is, do you talk about what you know about? Are you confident in your opinions? Or are you a speaker that sometimes says, okay, I can speak about that, I can speak about that. I've never spoken about that before, but I'm gonna just speak about that. Or are you someone that really um, is passionate about what you talk about, and every single time you go up, you have strong opinions? Um, of course, you, do, you still have to do your research, but are you confident in who you are as a human being and, and what you believe in and what you want to teach out there to the world and the value that you give? So I hope that you can take some of these tips today and put it into your own speaking the next time you speak in public the next time you give a presentation I want to hear from you which one of these three things do you think you will incorporate in your next talk drop it in the comments below and make sure to subscribe to this channel if you want to improve your communication and public speaking skills bye bye now